escort a tour or guide a tour. What comes to your mind? I'll tell you what comes to my mind. Four words, trapped on a bus. Being taken to iconic statues for 20 seconds and then whisked away to a store to buy things you never wanted in the first place. Is there a better way to do the words escort a tour or guide a tour and still stay on the bus? Believe it or not, there is. Guided tours have always been popular, but not all are created equal. Some tour operators have started offering travelers much, much more than just seeing the expected sights or being trapped on a bus. They take them off the beaten path and give them actual immersion experiences, like this one offered by Trafalgar. Open inside one egg. This tour group is in Florence, Italy. This morning they were at a museum, but for several hours today, it's all about living the Italian lifestyle. And nothing says Italy more than cooking an Italian feast. I've never done this before in my life. It's all about participatory travel in a local culture. For the past few years, Trafalgar has sought out and hired some pretty exceptional locals, like Chef Libero Saraceni, to give tourists a memorable outing in Florence. So Chef, how long have you been doing this? Oh, for Trafalgar, it's about six years. When Chef Libero said yes, he also insisted on crafting the excursion. I said, I can help you. I can do it, but we have to do like how I want to prefer. I mean, the direction. We go everybody in the market, we buy, they buy what we needed. And the market he prefers is not on a tourist map. Instead of the usual souvenirs and refrigerator magnets, this one is filled with fresh produce. San Ambrogio is one of the oldest in Florence, and it's where the locals go. So once a week, this is where Libero has the Trafalgar tours meet him. Libero! Hey! <laughs> the chef hands out money and shopping lists. In Italian, of course. Then... Are you ready? Yeah. We go. It's a bit of an adventure for the travelers finding and purchasing what they actually need for their cooking class. Right. We've got to work for our, for our uh, dinner. When they learn, they know everything. They never forget. Well, you know, some tours you just get to go and watch. Yeah. Here they actually they have to do. <laughs> because also, what they prefer, they eat. If they don't work well, no lunch. <laughs> that is the problem, Peter. <laughs> of course, this work has its predictable rewards. Ah, Mama Maria! An experience like the one we're having today, it's uh, uh, really not normal for them. It's something superior, it's something that they're gonna remember for their whole life. As a tour company, Trafalgar is banking on the benefits of being memorable. For the travelers, the payoff is a great time. But for the tour companies offering experiences along with sightseeing, the real payoff is hopefully repeat business. Here's another example. It's called Be My Guest. The tour company literally takes you onto the personal property of the locals. When visiting Florence, it's this stunning homestead, which also operates as a winery. So this is your parents' house? Yes, this is Fattoria di Petroio. It's been in my dad's family and uh, with us, with the Pallini Lenti family for over two and a half centuries. This property has a fascinating history. Everybody, welcome, welcome to Petroio. Here tonight. Which Diana Lenzi and her parents gladly share with their visitors. This actually is a small chapel. It's called the Chapel of St. Michael the Archangel. That they let us on their property is just the sweetest thing. I didn't really realize when I signed up for the trip that they were going to, that we were going to go to someone's home. It's a win-win. You get a personal tour and a fantastic meal in the wine cellar. Bon appetit. Cooked by Diana, who just so happens to be a chef. It's a night of sharing, wine, food, stories, and laughter. An insider experience, a genuine guided tour.